Hello my jazzies, here I am back with a bold lip makeup look. Let's get started. First off, I'm going to start off with my Fasali products, both the Unicorn Essence and the Liquid Glass and use these as my primers. Then onto the brows, I do use the Morphe Brow Cream in the shade Java for this look. I just use my concealer to clean them up. This is Huda Beauty's Body Highlighter. I am using it on my face because I mentioned in one of my videos that it acts as a blurring effect and adds light to your face. On top of that, I'm going to use my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. I'm showing you guys what it looks like over that liquid highlight. Then to conceal, I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Sand. To contour, we're going to use this Match Stick by Fenty Beauty in the shade Cinnabon, I believe it showed. And then using a damp Morphe sponge, I'm going to blend out those contour shades first. Now this one was a bit bronzy, so I did have to blend a bit more to get that matte-ish looking finish. And then I moved on to blending out my concealer. I always do the dark first and then the light. Then to set that concealer, I used my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. And I did use the a different shade on the remainder of my face. Now to emphasize that contour, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker in the shade Caramel Cutie. And this is just to add some warmth back into the face and some dimension as well. I love the finish of this product, but it will not work for me in the summertime if I were to get darker. For blush, I used that Milani Coral Cove that I just showed. And then on to highlighter, another Fenty Beauty product. This is her Kilowatt highlighter in the shade Hustler Baby. I do like the finish of all the Fenty products that I use. They do seem to just melt into your skin. But the full size products, guys, they are so expensive. Wow. To remove any powder from the brows, I'm going to use this product by Benefit. It's their brow conditioning brow gel. Now onto the eyes. I'm going to prime them using this product by MAC. Thanks Christine. It's my first paint pot. I've heard many good things about it. This one is in the shade Soft Ochre. I love it because I can use it as a base or an actual eye shade. Here's a palette that I cannot put down. Like guys, I cannot emphasize how obsessed I am with these Pat McGrath palettes. This is my first one. It's the Eye Ecstasy palette. And the first shade I dipped into is Paradiso. I'm just placing that on the outer corner of the eyelid and bringing it towards the inner corner. But only focusing on the crease and outer corner of the eye. Showing here, I'm going to use the shade Dark Matter as well and just try my best to stay on the outer corner of the eye. Here is a close-up of what the eyes look like and that's it for the top of the eyes. The lower part of the eye, I did just run Dark Matter and smoke that out with the shade Paradiso. Now to waterline and tightline my eye, I'm using this eyeliner by Ardency In in the shade Black. On the lower lash lines, I use this mascara by MAC. It's the Extended Giga Black Lash Mascara. I have a separate video or tutorial on this on my Instagram. This is how I just emphasize my natural lashes. I use the Marc Jacobs Primer and then I go over it with any other mascara. Here I use the Sephora Outrageous Curl one. You guys can see that no falsies are needed. On the lips, I used my NYX Lip Suede Liner in the shade Cool Brew. I'm obsessed with this shade. I haven't bought any other colors and like... I'm just using it on a daily basis. This fun, bold color that just brings a pop of color to the overall look is by Sephora. It's their lip stain in number 03. Now to set the face, I'm using this NYX Dewy Setting Mist. and I'm just spraying that all over my face and setting it as well by fanning it. And that, my jazzies, is the complete look. I hope you like it. I hope you try it. Please like, comment, and subscribe.